going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, and today I want to talk about the Forza Horizon franchise. Um, just to let you guys know, I absolutely, you know, I, I'm a big Forza fan. I, I, I do really like Forza Horizon, uh, the the series, the franchise, and I, I want to see it grow. And uh, I have a couple ideas into um, what should be implemented in uh, Forza Horizon 3. Some some things that they have to work out, um, you know, compared to Forza Horizon 2. Uh, there, there was a, a major thing that kind of got on my nerves about that game, even though I enjoyed playing it. Now, first, let's let's talk about the stuff that... Uh, there were things in the, the first Horizon that I thought were going to be brought over to Horizon 2 that weren't. But hopefully, they bring them over to Horizon 3. Now... When you think of Horizon, you think about, um, well, at least I think about the car crews. I, I love having, you know, groups of people, you know, racing together, um, even like sharing logos and stuff like that. And you weren't able to share designs and logos within your crew in Horizon 2. You can put them up publicly. And I did find ways for my, my crew to do that. I would put a logo up. You know publicly really quick while people were on they would you know they would grab it as fast as they could and then i would take it off the market again uh but th that's that's not what they did in the original horizon the original horizon i was able to share um uh, i was able to gift cars um gift designs and i would gift the, the the car you know the crew logo designs to the crew members so this way they had that that stamp on their car that showed what crew they belong to and they didn't bring that over in horizon 2 and i have absolutely no idea why but uh, another thing that I, I feel that going into horizon 3 they need to bring back is the crew garage um this was a big thing in the original horizon with my crew uh putting you know certain cars into the crew garage and then letting any crew member drive that car uh, with, with the tune set up, you know, with the upgrades, everything like that. I thought it was a really cool feature in Horizon. I thought it would have been kind of like one of the foundations of Horizon moving in as a franchise. Um, but for some reason or another, they didn't bring that into Horizon 2. And I, I strongly feel they should bring that back. But um, those, those are the two things that I think they should bring, you know, from the original Horizon. They should, they should bring it back into the franchise. And that's the ability to share cars and designs. Um, so this way I can make, you know, unique cars, uh, unique car designs and give them to people. Like, you know, I'll be able to personalize it for them, which uh, I, I do get a lot of requests for. And then um, the crew garage, which was a big thing with my crew in the original Horizon. But now moving on. Uh... There's something about Horizon 2 that kind of bugs me, and um, I don't know if it bugs you guys, but uh, I, I'm I'm a racer first. I'm a drifter second. So when it came to the the Horizon 2 races, um, you know I would try to be in first place. You know, finish. You know, cross the finish line in first place, and that's what I thought I was supposed to do in a racing game. But with how they, you know, gather up points and stuff when it comes to doing drifts, uh, taking out little things on the sides of the road, catching air and stuff like that, I was finding that even though I was finishing first in the race, I wasn't first in the total standings because those point totals, the point totals for drifting, uh, the point totals for, you know, just doing all the other stuff, um, those were the things that determined who was first in the racing series. And I think they need to redo that. Um, I think they could do a couple things. But uh, one of the first things they could do that, that I would suggest is make sure that the, the, the people that come in first, second, and third get enough points to show, you know, that coming in first, second, or third means a lot to the race and it's not just about being you know uh stylized it's not about having that style it's not about doing just a bunch of crazy stuff but you know at the core of it try to win the race i 
in Horizon 2, I don't know how many times I, I joined online racing series. And, you know, I got first place, but the guy in sixth, because he was just drifting all day and stuff like that, was actually ahead of me in the total points for the series. Um, I, I think, you know, either they, they can give a, a, a really good point total for people who finish in first, second, and third, or, or separate it completely. Separate the, the drifting and all that stuff completely. Have it unlock certain, like, customizable features with your cars. You know, stuff like that. But don't make it such an integral part of these races. Either that you could you could separate it, have one drift class and then one race class. Um, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be too hard to do the same types of races, but just to do one in a drift style and then to do one in a race style. It'd be the same race. You know the same race track but one would you know be drift style and the other one would be race style and you know let let the consumer let the gamer decide you know which ones he's going to do and then you know for people who do pick the draft uh the drift races have them you know have those races kind of unlock certain things that wouldn't be available otherwise but um definitely try to you know still keep the the racing at its core you know about finishing first like getting faster than the other people and stuff and um you know i know forza horizon 2 is is meant to accommodate kind of like the car culture but don't just throw it all into a blender and say here you go um <laughs> that's my feelings on it um as usual guys you know definitely hit up that comment section i want to know what you think do you, do you see what I'm saying here? How many times have you been in an online race in Horizon 2 and, and just blew away the competition and was thoroughly happy to come in first only to realize that in the series you're actually in fourth place because the people behind you, all they were doing all day was drifting and, and hitting stuff on the sides of the roads and, and catching air off bumps. And, you know, you put all this hard work into just getting into first place. Um... But all in all, like I said, I, I do really like the Horizon franchise. Uh, I, I like that open world racing. I love the crew mentality. I love having, you know, a bunch of your friends together, racing together, watching each other's backs and such. And it's it's a it's a real good game. And it's a I believe it's a strong franchise to move forward. Just a couple, you know, tweaks here and there. Of course, you know, they're, they're going to change the location for Horizon 3. Um, maybe they can implement more weather the next time around. Maybe they should have done that deep south where, where there are thunderstorms and, and hurricanes and, and stuff like that. Or, or have it in a place where there's multiple seasons. Like you'll have snow going up into the mountains, but then coming back down, uh, you know, it changes terrain because of elevation. And then, you know, the, the weather goes dynamic into sun you know, before the end of the race, but, uh, definitely, you know, tweak, tweak the weather situation when it comes to Horizon 3, and then, like I said, just bring back, please, bring back sharing cars, sharing designs, and I don't mean to, to the entire community, I meant, you know, the ability to share these things within your crew, that's, that's what your, you know, your crew is supposed to be able to do things for each other that you can't just do with the general public, you know, and um, I think if they brought that back, it would give more emphasis to being in a crew. And then, of course, you know, the crew garage as well. But these are just my thoughts. Uh, hopefully, Playground Games is, is watching this video right now, hearing what I got to say, understanding. And, you know, hopefully they put some of this stuff back in. And I, I, I do believe they're definitely going to improve the weather going forward. But... As usual, if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up for me. Um, definitely comment. I want to know what you guys think. Are you enjoying the the Forza Horizon series? Uh, do you agree with me on what things you know they they should improve on, bring back, and what are some of your ideas on what they should do to uh, to this franchise to move it forward? But as for now, this is the Xbox Four Four Eight, and I am definitely signing. Off. White and nerdy, just too white and nerdy. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Can't you see him white?
nerdy. Look at me, I'm white.